Okay, with this one, we're going to take a look at these valves on this compressor. These are a reed type valve. This is the head, and I can take the valve out there, and there are reed valves on this. This is a reed valve. It's kind of a circular thing. And if you look at it here, you can see the seating is right around the edge. And the piston actually fits right in there like that. So when the piston comes all the way to the top, it actually fits into this slot here, uh, the circular slot. Okay, uh, as the piston travels down, this spring is going to start moving up that way to allow gas to come from here into the cylinder. And then when the piston starts back up again, this naturally just closes and stays down like that and seals. Now, as the piston comes up, there's another reed valve right here. And it's a little harder to tell. Let me see if I can find something to push it down with. As the pressure comes up, this actually moves down like that. And if you look at this side, looking at this side, you can see, a little hard to see there, but that valve moves up as the pressure moves up and discharges the gas. So it's a fairly simple thing, but the important part of this is the way this piston fits in here. When that fits in there, what that's supposed to do, instead of just having a flat top that fits to a flat part of the head, it has these tapered surfaces that are supposed to uh, take any liquid that gets in there and push it off to the side as this piston comes up. When it comes up like that, it tends to push that stuff off to the side. And most of the time, that protects these things from slugging. I mean, the whole point of this head is to keep it from slugging, of this, this type of design. Obviously, it's not perfect. You can always break these things. But that's one of the methods that they've used to try to control... Uh, liquid being in that cylinder and causing damage. Other compressors use other ways. Some of them have really heavy springs on the head that allow the flat head to flex up a little bit. This one may do that itself because this is a fairly light material. It's not a spring, but it may give a little bit because it's just sheet metal. But uh, that's pretty much how those valves work and the way they're supposed to protect the machine. That's about it, I think, on these valves and how they work.